This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Brake fluid level. Open the door and pull the hood release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Slide the hood safety latch, then raise the hood upwards and support it with the prop rod. The brake master cylinder is located on the driver's side of the engine compartment firewall with the fluid reservoir being mounted to the front of the cowl. The fluid levels should be maintained between the max and min lines marked on the side of the reservoir. If the fluid level is low, wipe the top of the reservoir and cap with a clean rag to prevent contamination of the system when the cap is unscrewed. Then unscrew the cap from the brake fluid reservoir. While the reservoir cap is off, check the fluid in the reservoir for contamination. If rust deposits, dirt particles, or water droplets are present, the system should be properly drained, refilled, and bled. Top up the reservoir with the correct type of new brake fluid until the fluid reaches the max line. Use a funnel to prevent spills. After filling the reservoir to the proper level, install the cap and make sure the cap is fully seated to prevent fluid leakage or contamination. Engine oil level. Pull the dipstick out of the tube and wipe all of the oil away from the end with a clean rag or paper towel. Insert the clean dipstick all the way back into the tube and pull it out again. Note the oil at the end of the dipstick. The level should be between the min and max marks on the dipstick. To add oil, unscrew the oil filler cap and pour in the correct type of oil. Use a funnel to prevent oil spills. After adding oil, wait a few minutes to allow the level to stabilize. Then pull out the dipstick and check the level again. Add more oil if required until it reaches the max mark. Do not overfill the engine. Insert the dipstick and install the filler cap, tightening it by hand only. Coolant level. A pressurized coolant expansion tank is located at the right side of the engine compartment and is connected by hoses to the radiator and cooling system. The coolant level will vary with the temperature of the engine. When the engine is cold, the coolant level should be at or slightly above the min mark on the tank. Once the engine has warmed up, the coolant level should be at or near the max mark. If the level falls below the min line, allow the engine to cool, then slowly remove the cap from the coolant reservoir and add the correct type and mixture of coolant to bring the level a little above the min line. Note that the cap may be hard to turn by hand. If this is the case, a pair of large channel locking pliers may be used to help turn the cap. When topping up the coolant level, a funnel with a flexible or long neck will have to be used to direct coolant into the tank. If only a small amount of coolant is required to bring the system up to the proper level, water can be used. However, repeated additions of water will dilute the antifreeze and water solution. Install the expansion tank cap securely. Drive the vehicle, then recheck the coolant level. Automatic transaxle fluid level. Models without a dipstick.
since the vehicle must be level when checking the transaxle fluid level, but greater access is needed, raise the front and rear of the vehicle and support it on jack stands in a level position. Place a floor jack under the unibody side pinch weld, raise the front of the vehicle, then support it with a jack stand placed under the indicated supporting marker. Repeat this on the opposite side where applicable. Place a floor jack under the unibody side pinch weld. Raise the rear of the vehicle, then support it with a jack stand placed under the indicated supporting marker. Repeat this on the opposite side where applicable. Remove the various bolts that retain the front engine undershield. With the front engine undershield removed, remove the rear undershield. Start the engine. While the engine is idling, depress the brake pedal and move the selector lever through all gear ranges, pausing for 5 seconds in between, beginning and ending in park. Place a drain pan underneath the check plug. With the engine still running, remove the transaxle check leveling plug from the left side of the transaxle. The fluid should be even with the bottom of the plug hole. If the fluid is not even with the bottom of the plug hole, remove the transaxle filler plug. Place a long funnel into the filler hole, then add the correct type of fluid to the transaxle until it starts to flow out of the check leveling hole. Allow the fluid to flow out until it stops. Clean the fluid off of the transaxle case and install the check plug. Tighten the plug securely. Turn off the engine. Remove the funnel, install the filler cap, and rearrange the hoses to their factory positions. Install the rear, then the front engine under shield, and tighten the fastener securely by hand to prevent the threaded plastic from cross-threading. Lower the front of the vehicle to the ground. Lower the rear of the vehicle to the ground. Windshield washer fluid level. Fluid for the windshield washer system is stored in a plastic reservoir located at the right side of the engine compartment, in front of the coolant reservoir. Flip open the cap and fill the windshield washer reservoir as necessary. Push the cap securely onto the opening when finished. 